Still in the news, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Gbadjabiamila, has invited the Ministers of Finance, Education and the Leadership of ASU for a meeting in his office on Thursday. This follows a matter of urgent public importance sponsored by Professor Julius Ihonwiri at Tuesday's plenary over failure of the federal government to honour the agreement reached with ASU in December 2020. Emmanuel Ehijene completes this report. Moving a motion, Honorable Ihovere said another strike action being contemplated by ASU would have adverse effects on the students, parents, and on the country at large. In his intervention, Speaker Bajabia Mila called for a meeting between the Minister of Finance and his education counterpart together with the leadership of ASU on ways to avert the impending strike actions. Let us beg the federal government to live up to expectation and implement an agreement in time without duress. Simple. If they disrupt these universities again, the implications will be very far reaching. And we can continue like this. This is the, about the tenth strike from us. And you can blame us. A worker can only use the implement he has that he knows that the boss will listen to him. I will do the needful. And if I do the needful, the federal government should provide that money in the next one month. Because the issue that COVID-19 put back our children at home without doing anything. Now, we also want to use our hands to make them sit down at home without doing anything. The question is, Mr. Speaker, will you preside over a generation fund that will graduate and yet not make meaningful impact in the economy of your country? Contributing to the motion, lawmakers call on the federal government to always make efforts to fulfill every agreement it reaches with aggrieved unions in the country. And so, Mr. Speaker, Honorable Colleagues, I have to plead with you to use your good office as you've been doing since uh, night and since to call these people to order, to intervene. This is not the issue of I am right or I am wrong. Even the Bible says that it is wrong for you to make a vow and not keep to it. It's better that you don't. For the fact that they have agreed and they came with this agreement, those agreements should be simply followed to the letter. Just add this to it, that, uh, and I want the notice to go out today, that the Minister of Finance, the Minister of Education, and the representative of ASU will meet in my office on Thursday, uh, meet me in my office on Thursday at 2 p.m. Finance, ASU, and uh, Minister of Education. So that we fast track, fast track this uh, this matter. Those in favor, please say aye. Those against, please say nay. Just a Monday, ASU gave the federal government a 21-day ultimatum to implement all agreement it reached with the union or get ready for another strike action. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.